today while we stretch and get a little stronger so the things that we do every day are just a little easier. In order to do that, you've got to exercise with us or go out and take a walk and get strong so that the things are easy to do. Yay, hey! But before you begin this or any other exercise program, you're going to want to check with your doctor and he'll give you advice on what he thinks you should do or not do in exercise. Also, you want to wear loose, comfortable clothing and you want to make sure that you have water or some kind of liquid beverage that's not alcohol to drink before, during, and after our time together. You want to wear loose, comfortable clothing so you can turn and bend and not feel restricted. And if we're doing a move and your body says, I am not going there, listen to your body because your body is very smart. Also, you're going to want to make sure that when we're doing a move and we're stretching, you're not bouncing. So you want to move smoothly and slowly. I hope that Connie will go along with that one too. So you want to make sure that you drink your water because you want to stay well hydrated. It's good for the skin, the eyes, the intestines. It's good for absolutely everything, not to mention your brain. You want to drink a lot of water. Somebody told me cold water was good because it burned calories. And then I talked to another person and they said room temperature water is actually better for you. So I'm not sure, but everyone says drink your water. So that's a really good idea. You want to make sure that you eat your fruits and vegetables. Make sure you get that protein in to build muscles, but you don't want too much. People say not to eat carbohydrates, but carbohydrates are what give you your immediate energy. So you just want to make sure they're complex. You know, like your whole grain breads, whole grain pastas, things like that. Of course, it's really important to eat your fruits and vegetables. People say to stay away from sugar, and that's true. Too much sugar is not good. But the sugar that you get naturally from foods, that's not so bad at all. And when you need a sweet, that's a really good way to get your sweet in. So talking about sweets, let's meet Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. I'm Mary's sidekick. Am I your straight man? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I love exercising with Mary. She always puts a smile on my face. But when I'm not exercising with Mary, I do things like genealogy, researching my family tree and other people's family trees because I also edit a newsletter for a Purcell Family of America Genealogy Society. And that is great fun. I go on research challenges that are almost like being a detective and I learn a lot of history in the process and uh, it's just exciting for me. That is fantastic. Now when you're not exercising, do you do other things? Like do you walk? Do you garden? Oh, I do. I do. I garden. I like doing exercise that allows me to accomplish something as well. So I'm not just on a treadmill. I do a lot of gardening in our yard. I help my husband with our vegetable garden at the Simsbury Community Gardens. If you like to garden, that's the place to go. That is fantastic. Well, I'm glad you joined us today, and we are glad that you joined us. Today we're going to be working with paper plates. So you can have nice plain paper plates, or you can have a nice smiley, or wouldn't you know, Connie has the paper plate with the tongue sticking out, wouldn't you know? So if you want to have a little fun, you can decorate your paper plates. If you don't have a paper plate, but have like a tin plate, or if you have those plastic containers like that a fruit comes in, you could like cut the top off. And if there's no, if there's no little, little like edges, you can like slide that along the floor. Now, when we put our paper plates on the floor, we have carpeting. But if you have a floor that's like wood or tile or linoleum, then you're going to want to make sure that you have a cloth like this. So when we're sliding our plates on the carpet, you're going to put your foot on the cloth and slide your plate because maybe the plates will scratch up your floor. And I don't think my liability training insurance would cover it, mm -hmm. and definitely not the TV stations. So, we're going to hold on to paper plates. Because we're going to be holding on to them with a kind of a pinching thumb and fingers, some people find that very difficult. So, if you do have a hard time holding on to something, because maybe arthritis or just your fingers, you could hold on to it with a towel, or again, 
You could also get gloves because sometimes nice thick gloves, that will help you hold on to something, especially if your grip isn't particularly strong. So we can actually strengthen our grip. Now we're gonna do all the exercises with our buttocks towards the edge of the chair. If that hurts your back, you can take a pillow and put it right on the back of the chair. And maybe that'll make things a little easier. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, we had a good breakfast. We have our water, we have loose, comfortable clothes. Our doctor said it was okay to exercise. Yay, so off we go. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna take our paper plates and start right with those. We're gonna put them right on our legs, breathe in long spine, and flat back, lean forward a little. So what we're doing is we're preparing the back. We're hinging forward from the hips, our shoulders are back and down, and we feel just terrific. There you go, good work. Now, we're gonna go all the way to the ends of our knees and hold it there, bring them out and in. Good, so we're working our arms. Now we have to actually do a little bit of pressing on our plates. So we're doing a little strength training. Now we're gonna add the legs by rolling the knees out and the knees in. There you go, perfect. You got that one perfectly, Connie. My knees have been wanting to do that. Wow, that is great. Excellent. And now relax, because we were really pressing down. So now, we're gonna put two plates together, and we're gonna hold up thumbs and fingers, and we're gonna drive our car. There you go. Now, where are you driving to, Connie? I'm driving to Washington, D.C. to see the cherry blossoms. That is a great idea. When do the cherry blossoms blossom? They blossom in the spring. Oh, I'm hoping for spring. Ah, yes. We love the spring. Spring, spring is a wonderful thing. Spring is sprung, the grass is grizz. I wonder where the birdies is. Okay, so here we okay. are, driving <laughs> down. Okay, now we have a big turn over this way. Whoa, we have a big turn over this way. You'll notice we're lifting our elbows and getting a nice stretch on the side of the waist. Great job. Very, very good. Stretching always good. Doesn't stretching feel good? It does feel good. And if you straighten your arms out, like say the car seat was really back far, mm -hmm. when you straighten your arms out, it feels much different than when you bend your arms and hold it very close to your chest. So you oh can feel goodness, that differently. Yes, it does. So there's a great big difference on whether your arms are straight or bent. Good work. Let's hold it right here. Now we're gonna bring one end forward and then the other end back. Good, so we're nice and tall. Now we're gonna start to stretch that arm over. Good job. Wow, that was a good stretch there, Connie. This stretches all along my arm, even to my wrists. Exactly. Hands. Excellent. You got it. Good work. Now we're gonna take the plate, bring it to our chest, and push it out and in, and out and in. We're nice and tall. Now Connie and I are gonna invite you to add the leg. Here we go, out and in, out and in. You can add any leg you want. You'll good. notice that, good, yeah. <laughs> That's why I love working with Connie, because she decides what she wants to do, which demonstrates to you that as long as you're moving in a safe and effective way, it's okay. We're glad to have you with us. Besides, I get to kick her in the shin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wore my big heavy shoes today. Last time, you're done. Great, that was terrific but your hands might have bothered you. So we interlace the fingers and push the palms away. Then we pull the belly to the back and round back to the chair, good work. Then we push the hands away, a little over to one side, good work, and a little over to the other side. Now we're gonna add the neck. So we pull the hands over to the side again, but we look away from the hands. There you go, good work.
Then we come back to center and push the hands over here, relaxing the shoulders, but look away. Look oh, away. Look at that Ferrari. I want one of those. <laughs> Slowly come back to center. Speaking of Ferraris, did I tell you about the snail who wanted a car? No. Oh, I have to tell you about the snail who wanted a car. He wanted one, one plate in each hand. He wanted one plate in each hand? No. no he, snails had hands. He wanted a Datsun 280Z. I had a Datsun 280Z once. You did? I did. I'll bet you didn't drive like a snail. No. No. So anyway, the snail wanted the Datsun 280Z, but because he was a snail, he wanted an S instead of the Z. And the car company said, you've got to be kidding. We want to take the Z off. And he goes, I'll give you $100 extra. So sure enough, they took the Z off, and there was a great big S on the side of the car. And then when he would go by, people would look at him in his fancy car with a big S on it. And they'd say, wow, look at that S car go. <laughs> okay. I think I should pop her with my plate. <laughs> One hand and then the other. Let's go quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows down. Pull that plate right up to the shoulder and push it back. Down. Are you feeling winded? I mean, not winded, but airy. Not airy, but what do you call cool. this? Cool. Yes, this is a very cool exercise. <laughs> we're going quickly. Quickly. And that's going to get our heart rate up because we're moving rather quickly. And we're moving against the resistance of the wind with our plate. Last four, three, two, and you are done. Could you feel that at all? Oh, it felt like I was out on my yacht and the sea breeze was wafting through my hair and the dolphins were leaping. That's so fantastic. You have a good imagination, Connie. Okay, here we go. Hands on our plates. Nice and easy. Out and in. So we're giving our hands a break. Again, we're working the hips. Then we're going to take the plates and just rest them on the tops of our thighs. And as we pull the knee up, we're going to run the plate up to the top of the knee. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Lean back. Shoot the plate to the top of the knee. There you go. That's just great. We lean back onto our sitting bones. Then we start to work the stomach. Can you feel that a little bit? I am. I am feeling it. Great job. And so is my tummy. Excellent. All the while, our chins are parallel to the floor. We're not lifting our chin so we don't hurt our neck. And we're leaning back, and now we're done. Wow, that was a pretty good one. I loved it. Plates together. Now remember, we got into the, the move of leaning back and lifting one leg and leaning back and lifting the other. So we're going to shoot the plates through and under the leg. One, two, good, three, that's excellent, four, you got, hey, your socks match your pants. Oh, that's very cool, Connie. I love to match. <laughs> there we go, one, two. Three, four, four more, four, three, and two, and one. Wow, that was a good exercise. It strengthened the thighs. Mm -hmm. We need these muscles for going up and down the stairs. And tummy muscles, too. And tummy muscles, yes, because our stomachs actually help us have a strong back because it's the antagonistic muscle and good for your posture. These are the muscles we need for posture. Speaking of which... Here yes. we go. We're going to have our palms down, and we're going to pull our elbows back, but we're going to sit nice and tall. Okay. There we go. So reach the arms forward. There you go. And pull the elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades. This is what we need for good posture. Forward and pull back, squeezing your shoulder blades. And we can do that by keeping our elbows nice and high. Pull those elbows back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can imagine that there's an egg between your shoulder blades and you're cracking Lunch. the egg, which would be okay, except now you have yolk running down your back. So maybe I'll do a hard boiled egg and then make an egg <laughs> salad sandwich afterwards. Stretch, relax the shoulders, pull the elbows back. Open up the chest. Now we're gonna hold our elbows back. We're gonna lean forward a little bit and we're going to push our plate straight back. 
Good. Bring the plates right to our shoulders and push the plates back. Good work. Lean and push. Now hold them back, hold them back. Push them up, 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 up. Belly in and chest as high and push. Try to relax the shoulders. There you go. Working the back of the upper arm, the upper back for four, three, two, and done. Wow! Could you feel that a little bit? Mm, yes. Makes you want to just roll those shoulders up, back, and down. There you go. Good work. Now we're going to take our plates that we've had in our hands and put them down on the floor. So remember, if you have a wooden floor or a tile floor or a linoleum floor, you want to make sure that your feet do not go on these plates. You want to put them on a cloth, a dishcloth, a face cloth. You could actually do it in your socks. You can put them on a sock. Okay, beautiful long spines holding the tummy in. We're going to slide this foot out and in and then this foot out and in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Slide it out and in. Now you'll notice that when we go out and in, we only go out and in a little bit. And then you'll notice that Connie particularly, she has beautiful long legs and so she's going to really reach with her legs. So she stretches out a little more. So if you have tender hips, only go out a little bit. If you're nice and warmed up, you can stretch out more. But this works, the range of motion of the hip, and this exercise, believe it or not, is good for like when you go to the theater and you have to sidestep. Did you lose your plate? I did. <laughs> Thank you, Connie. Connie did that on purpose to remind us of the importance of keeping our foot pushed down. You actually have to push down with the ball of the foot. Thank you, Connie, for showing us three times how not to do it. I can count on Connie. I'll just watch you. <laughs> no, you can't because now we're going forward and back. I think you'll be better at the next one. You know one. what? My sneakers are so slippery, I can do it without the plates. <laughs> Thank you, Connie, for sharing that. So, I'll bet you're going to be really good at this next one. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, okay, so now we put the balls of the feet right on our plates. There you go. And if the bottoms of your feet, sneakers are nice and slippery, or if you're just doing it on your socks, you know, any way you can do this, it's great. So we slide forward and back. That's it. And all the while, <laughs> our bellies are in. Our chests are high, our shoulders are back and down, and now we're going to change a little bit. We're going to put the heels on our plates. How's that? <laughs> we're going to circle, make a nice little circle. There you go, it's just one foot. If you want to go advanced, you can watch Connie. <laughs> Okay, it's so much fun exercising with you. <laughs> never know what's going to happen. And go in the opposite I direction. Quit. I quit. No more plates. No, you can't quit. But what Connie's demonstrating is how she's still exercising without her plates. Other foot. There you go. So if you have socks on, follow Connie because she can always lead you in the right direction. Well, One, there are a lot of ways to get to the top of the mountain. And reverse the circle. But you'll see that Connie chooses really bushwhacking ways to get to the good exercise program. And you are done. Wow, that was great. I'll bet you're sad to see those plates go. Oh, just <laughs> So One now, has to improvise. You're right, and so you're very good at it, and you're good at it at home. Thank you for joining us. Now we're going to work on our stomachs. We pull the bellies in, our hands are on our thighs. We're going to lean back a little, but not touch the back of our chair. So we lean back a little, chin parallel to the floor, and we're going to crisscross our arms. Good. So, in order to lean back and not touch the back of our chairs, our stomachs have to really work. Can you feel that a little bit? Yes, Good. I can. Now we're going to add the legs. While we're crisscrossing our arms, we're going to lift one knee a little bit and then the other. When you're ready, here we go. Up, two, three, four. Now Connie's working a little harder than I because she's kind of giving her leg a little kick. So she's working a little harder. So I'm the weenie in this one. Four, three, 
two, and one. We come all the way up, secure our upper body by placing our hands on our thighs, fingertips in, long spines, and leaning forward. So now we stretch out our back. Ah, doesn't that feel good? It sure does. Sure does. It feels great. Now we push the heels of the hands into the thighs and slowly come up. Good work. We're gonna grab one leg and we're gonna lean back. Now if grabbing your leg is hard, you can pull up on your pant leg. If that's not easy for you, you can get a towel and you can just lean back and hold. So we wanna go all the way back. Good work. Point and flex the foot. Keeping the ankle flexible is really, really important. It sure is. It is. Now we're gonna hold the foot flexed or the toe to the sky and bring it in and out like a windshield wiper. There you go. Now let's circle that ankle right around. You've got it. And reverse, other way. Good work, excellent. Now let's stretch that leg right out. Oh boy, oh boy. Bring the toe up a little higher. Oh boy, oh boy. And relax it down. Wow, that was really hard, wasn't it? Oh, but it's so good for preventing falls. That's you right. Have strong ankles, you can hold yourself upright. That's exactly right. What Connie's saying is exactly true. We're gonna do the other leg now. Having strong ankles is really, really important. Lean all the way back, point and flex the foot. They've discovered that having strong ankles gives you a good understanding. It does? Yeah! Look at all I understand. Hold the toe up and bring the toe in and out, kind of like a windshield wiper. But they, it's actually true. If you have strong ankles and flexible ankles, it can really help you from falling because you can have those strong ankles to hold you more upright. Exactly. And we circle. One, two, three, and reverse we go. One, two, three, and stretch it right up to the sky. Oh, push that heel up, curl that toe down, straighten that leg, and relax. Wow! So, we've been holding the leg, our hands have been like this. So we wanna pull the fingers back. There you go, good work. We wanna stretch those hands out. Whenever you do an exercise, it really works a muscle group over and over again. Like, Connie, I know you knit. When in between knitting, what do you do for your fingers? I definitely stretch my fingers either like this, or just like this, or like this. Good idea. And they feel so much better afterwards, after being cramped with the needles for so long. That is excellent. That is excellent. Great job. So now we're stretching the other hand. We're sitting nice and tall. And now what we're going to do, which is really, really important, is to do a spinal twist. We've gone yeah. back and forth, and we've done this and side to side, but we have to get the spine turned and twisted. So we can do the agitator. Great job. So this is the agitator. Do, 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 do. There, you got it. Now, we're gonna stretch and hold the stretch. So we bring this arm across to the outside of the opposite leg. So when we turn back, you're actually gonna use this hand to kind of pull and give yourselves a nice twist. The other hand is palm up, and you follow the thumb back, turn with your head, use your eyeballs to see even further. Sit tall and stretch and reach, and now you're done. That is a good, good stretch. And you get to see the pretty flowers. That's right, how cool is that? Okay, reach around, hand palm up, sit tall before you turn, pull the hand back, Use your chin to turn back, your eyeballs. Look even further, pull back more, bring your hand up a little bit, up a little bit, oh boy, oh boy, excellent, excellent, and relax. That was great. Now, this hand is gonna reach straight up to the sky, and this hand is gonna reach right down as far as it can go. This hand's gonna circle on the top, circle, circle, and this hand is gonna circle on the bottom, like your fingers are in a little fish pond with no piranhas. And then slowly we come back to center. Good work. 
The other hand stretches up, the other hand stretches down. And we circle the hand like we're twisting apples off of a tree. Twist those apples. I would say we've got about a bushel. How about you, Connie? I feel more like I'm uh, changing a light bulb. Oh, okay, changing a light bulb. Pretty Theory. doggone good. How many surrealists does it take to change a light bulb? Surrealist? What, what is a surrealist? Oh. Reach down. It's somebody who sees reality differently than the rest of us. Oh, okay. Wow. I bet you know all about that. Okay, how many surrealists does it take to change a light bulb? It takes two. Two? One to hold the giraffe, and the other to fill the bathtub with brightly colored machine tools. Thank you, Connie, for that. That was really an interesting one. I thought you'd like that. I do. I love it. I love giraffes. Okay. Now that I have a giraffe, I'll bet with you I could change my light bulbs. Okay. Here we go. I don't do mechanical work. Oh, all right. Okay. Push your palms out. There you go. I'm too cerebral. Cerebral? I know that that means brainy, right? You got it. Hands That's behind me. the head. Push back. Good, good, good. And relax down. Just shrug those shoulders up and pull them back. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Thank you so much for joining us today. You did a great job. Let's take a great big breath in. And as we exhale, we know all will be well. Because now you are stronger and more flexible. Yay! We'll see you real soon. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.